In the Web3 era, computing power is energy, storage is land, code is means of production, digital identity is an individual, and in the end, data will be your private property. Then, how should all this be dispatched and distributed? And how can we adapt to the development of production relations under high productivity? It needs a brand new way of human organization to work together, and DAO is about to come out. The so-called DAO, the full name of Decentralized Autonomous Organization, is a decentralized autonomous organization which is based on the core idea of the blockchain, the collaborative behavior of co-creation, co-construction, co-governance, and sharing spontaneously generated by groups that reach the same consensus, derived from an organizational form. It keeps running through smart contracts and encodes transactions and rules on the blockchain to achieve open, fair, unattended, and autonomous operation. Here, the organizational relationship is defined by the code as consensus. Code is law. The first fully operational and far-reaching influence was Bitcoin. Although no one cared about it at the beginning of its birth, today, the blockchain boom has been unstoppable. Even the recent decline in the price of the currency has not affected it in the slightest. It has become a popular topic after dinner. Among them, the most influential DAO in history is THE DAO. As the first DAO with internet entity existence and the purpose of financing, it started crowdfunding on April 30th, 2016. In just 28 days, the crowdfunding amounted to more than 12 million ETH, worth about $150 million at the time, was almost 14% of the Ether supply at the time, and more than 11,000 people participated in the crowdfunding. But later, the DAO still failed. But it has to be said that this is a super cool attempt in the history of DAO. As Vitalik later said when recalling the incident, some people value purity and morality very much. If it goes wrong once, it will go wrong forever. But I think over time they will find that the governance of Ethereum will be more stable and the project will move forward. After that, more DAOs came into being, such as Aragon, MakerDAO, DAOStack, MalakDAO, etc. As of December 30th, 2021, there were already 188 DAOs managing over $11.5 billion in assets and nearly 2 million members. These range from DAOs that help govern some of the largest crypto protocols to smaller DAOs organized around causes such as investing, social communities, media, and philanthropy. Among them, there are 56 DAOs with a market value of more than $1 million, accounting for 33.9% of the market value of the track, and eight DAOs with a market value between $500 and $1 million, accounting for 4.8% of the track's market value. The essence of DAO's ability to display such powerful vitality like a starfish is that it can bridge the gap between participants around the world around the same mission or goal and achieve large-scale collaboration of capital and talents around the world in an instant. It does not have a central node or a hierarchical management structure but achieves organizational goals through interaction, competition, and collaboration among bottom-up network nodes. Business exchanges between nodes and between nodes and organizations are not determined by traditional administrative affiliation, but follow the principles of equality, voluntariness, reciprocity, and mutual benefit, and are driven by mutual resource endowments, complementary advantages, and win-win interests. Each organizational node will cooperate effectively under the incentive mechanism of DAO, according to its own resource advantages and talents, thereby generating a strong synergistic effect. If the company is used as a reference, one of the main purposes of the DAO is to imitate many functions of the company's business entity, where all members are both participants and owners, and everyone has the right to vote, instead of all obeying the boss. Arrange. Once the company starts to operate, it will continue to be based on smart contracts. As mentioned earlier, code is law. You can disapprove of me, but you can't disapprove of smart contracts. With this foundation, the weak will automatically be eliminated and the able will prevail. Each person's ability and value can truly match. If you are an entrepreneur or company owner and you are bold enough, then you can use the DAO method within your own organization to try a certain sector of business, such as new media operations, which should include content production, content publishing, community operation, effect monitoring, and other members. 
At present, most of them are still a single behavior of the company. If possible, you can set it up as a social organization with more professional capabilities. Each member of the organization is both a participant in the organization and a decision maker. Set the DAO operation mode, reward and punishment mechanism, etc., and write it into the code and run it. When you have experience, you can copy it to other teams to practice. As for whether your company is fully covered by DAO or the two models complement each other, it depends on your company's actual business and your internal strength in DAO. How deep! If you are an ordinary worker, I believe that after so many years of work, you have already deeply realized that, at least in terms of labor collaboration, modes such as part-time work, flexible employment, and crowdsourcing have almost met the needs of existing company models. But you are still in the subsistence stage. Admittedly, this is not an ideal state. If the life you want is not a simple job or private work to support your family, but a higher life and ideals, DAO may be your future. Because DAO can bring such people together through the collision of ideas and the gathering of wisdom to work together to do a greater and valuable thing for the same goal. I believe that on that day, you will inevitably break away from the existing solidification circle and achieve more gains in the advancement of wealth. At least here, you can truly be yourself. Of course, at present, DAO still has a certain threshold. At least at this stage, the people who can participate in DAO are those who have a certain vision and passion for DAO itself. And DAO is not an ideal system for everything. While DAOs can replace all aspects of legal contracts with code and save significant operational overhead, in some cases there is no legal protection beyond the rules outlined by the smart contracts that facilitate the DAO. This can be problematic if the DAO's control is centralized or vaguely defined, although some DAOs may also form legal entities behind the DAO itself. But this will take time, and conceivably this point will be long, as when Web3 will really achieve the same. In any case, it must be an exciting and great journey to awaken the unprecedented collaboration model in human history through DAO. Although the road is bumpy, I firmly believe that it must be a bright road in the future, and it must also be organized by human beings. Kang Duang Avenue. All right, that's it for today. I'm Frederick, a creator who has independent thoughts on the future of the web. If you are satisfied with the video content, I hope you can like, subscribe, and share it. If you want to know more about the future web or you want to discuss the content, please leave a message in the comment area. Thank you very much and see you next time.